Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Play series. In our last episode, we built this lovely storage room that I am standing in right now. As you can see behind me, I kind of started um, organizing out everything. So yeah, I had kind of like a lot of fun um, organizing it off camera. It was not too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching the last episode. If you did, if you didn't, I don't care. But yeah, in today's episode, we are going to finally build our nether portal. And we are going to explore the nether. Oh, how fun it will be. How fun. Okay, so I'm just going to show off the storage room a bit because honestly, I'm like really proud of how it turned out. As you can see, yes, we got all of our stuff organized. Got some stuff on this end. Um, I still have to add some chests, but that's alright. Up here, we just have like a little workstation. And I fell. <laughs> but no, we have the workstation, which I'm going to add like a bit more later on. And probably a few more beds up here. Just a lot of beds, you know. That way, like, whenever I need to sleep, there's a bed. And also because I'm really paranoid. Anyway. Let's check on our animals. And the owlies keep getting off their stupid, like, leads. It's like, um, please just stay on there. Let's give the dog some food. And I shall show off also what I've been doing off camera. Yes, cats. I've been collecting cats off camera. I have all 11 of them now, though, so that's fun. I would have shown me collecting them, but it was just, like, really boring and repetitive. I literally slept in a village and kept, like, running away and coming back to see which one spawned. And I waited for a full moon for the black cat right there. So, yeah, we got all 11 of them. I almost said 13. I was like, that's not right. Okay. Let me put some stuff in here so I can organize it later. As you can see, there's uh, <laughs> there's some stuff in there right now. Oops. I never said I was really good at making sure to stay organized. I'm just gonna get some stuff ready for the um making the nether portal. And at this part, I think I heard a skeleton, which I, like, I didn't see a skeleton, so it may have been, like, underground or something. Like, maybe there's, like, a cave under here or something. I'm not sure. And there could be a spawner for all we know, too. Looks like it's starting to get to nighttime, so we're gonna have to go back in to sleep. Yeah, I'm like, I went crazy because I heard the skeleton and I was like, oh no, I don't feel like fighting a skeleton right now. And then like, there's nothing. Just nothing. Like, okay. No skeleton, I guess. I mean, fine by me. I don't really like skeletons. And here's me double checking for the skeleton. I'm like, okay, is there actually a skeleton or am I just going crazy? But I know I heard one. I just, there wasn't actually one nearby. So I was probably just going crazy. And I even check inside the barn like, oh my god, what if there's a skeleton in here? But there's not. I don't think there would be because the barn's pretty well lit up. But you never know. Skeletons are sneaky like that. Okay, gotta make some chests, and then I need a crafting table, and um, a stone cutter. Totally didn't forget what it was called for a second there. Okay, let's hop on over here. So, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there's like a cave over here. And it, like, it kind of goes down a bit, and then there's like another cave connected to it. Oops, that's not where I wanted to place that. <laughs> but anyways, there's like a cave down there. And I'm just going to kind of dig out and place a portal down there. 
in my brain it looks cool but it probably won't turn out as cool as I envision it because it never does it really never does and I'll have to detail this path off camera I always detail part of the path and then like never do the rest of it I don't know I just get lazy Okay, got our stone cutter. Okay, so now we got everything we need, but yeah. I'm gonna dig out this cave and then, I don't know. Honestly, don't know what I'm gonna do with the outside of it. But the inside of it, yeah, portal. Like I said, it looks nice in my head, but <laughs> I won't be able to actually make it look nice, probably. Okay, so we dug out our little staircase down to the portal, which I have not added the portal yet, which is what we're going to do right now. But yeah, I kind of dug it out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do to make it look pretty. I have to relight this area since the water kind of took out all my torches. But I think I'm going to put the portal right over here. So yeah, let's dig this out a bit. Okay, so I was thinking of actually kind of like making it look a bit like a lush cave down there by the portal. Um, I don't know. I think that just kind of looked cool. I'm still not even entirely sure what to do with the top portion of this, but I'll figure that out later. Honestly, all I really care about for right now is just making the portal. So 
like I almost ran into that bee. Yeah, I don't know. I like um, planted the trees and then some of them just had the beehives on them. Later on, I will make like an area for the bees, but yeah, for right now, I'm not too worried. They can just roam and fly and do whatever. As long as I don't accidentally hit them, because I don't want angry bees. Okay. Yeah, this is me deciding like which wall I wanted it on. I was like, wait, do I want this wall or do I want that wall? I ultimately decided this wall with all the granite on it, so. Okay, we can start placing the obsidian now, hopefully. I'm like, I wasn't too sure what they did in this part. <laughs> yeah, I gotta place the obsidian, and then I'm gonna, like, cover it with stone. Just kind of make it look like it was built into the cave. Slabs, add pieces of stone there, and get some stairs over here. And it still kind of looks ugly, but you know, I don't know. I'm not that great at detailing stuff. And let's just place all this dirt of stone. Just because I think they look nicer. Although ultimately it ended up not mattering because I ended um, I ended up adding moss down here, which you'll see in a bit. But yeah, like <laughs> it's like oh yeah okay let's replace this stone and it's like and then I decide to add moss and I was like I don't know why I did that. I could just kept the dirt. get some slabs in here that way I don't have to keep jumping over the blocks and I ran out of slabs oh my god the cow like scared me when I was playing this it just kind of fell and I was like ah like, not just a cow nothing to worry about Okay, got some more slabs, and I think this part I was going to get the moss and stuff. Oh. Yeah, let's grab the moss. And then I like I didn't have any glowberries, which I honestly thought I did, but I didn't. So I'll have to go get some of those off camera. Just because right now I really don't feel like making a trip to the Hush Cave. Let's get some bone meal, which is shocking. I have a bunch of. Usually I have like none in there. And I guess it wouldn't matter because I have bones, but yeah. I don't like wasting the bones sometimes. Let's, yeah, let's just moss this sucker up. I think it'll just look way better as kind of like a fake lush cave. I, think, I don't know. I kind of like the look of like a lush cave portal. Yeah, see, it like wouldn't have mattered if I didn't take out the dirt or not. So I was like, oh yeah, no, let's take out the dirt. And I mossed it up a bit down here. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I hate the like grass that spawns on the moss. Like it's just annoying. I'm gonna take a stock and take a snack for two. Honestly thought that one um azalea thing was just gonna like jump into the portal. It's like wait, don't go in the nether before me. That's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna go set all the stuff down in the chest and then um and then we'll probably go into the nether. Although first I should probably add slabs to this part since I totally forgot about that. Okay, now we can set the stuff down in the chest. Now I'll have to take out this chest later because <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. Okay, I think we might actually um, be ready to go into the nether. Although I'm like really don't want to, but <laughs> oh wait, I always forget to put on gold armor, like to go in the Nether, or at least like one piece of gold armor. Cause like I don't know, every time I go into Nether, it's always in peaceful mode. Cause <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't like dying and losing all my stuff. Which I used to have a piece of gold armor. Then a stupid and smelted it down. So now I have to like remake something out of gold. I think we'll just make a helmet because, like, I don't know. It doesn't take up that much. Not that it matters because I have quite a bit of gold, but yeah. Okay, now we can go into the nether and hopefully not die. Hopefully we get a decent spawn too. Honestly, I like I don't even know what a decent spawn would be. I just like spawning in the um warped forests because they're just really pretty. But I also like spawning in like the um crimson not crimson. What is it called? I don't know, the waste or whatever. Where it's just like the nether rack. It's like, wait, the crimson's like the crimson forest. I don't know where I got crimson waste from. <laughs> yeah, no, it just like took forever to load. I'm terribly sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, I'm like, I can't control how slow my game is, sadly. Uh -huh. uh, the spawn's not that bad. I guess, I don't know. At least we have soul sand for when we need it. At least I can kill the skeletons from the pool. And why, why do the ghosts sound so unsettling? Like, I didn't know what they sounded like until now. I didn't realize how creepy sounding they sounded. It's like, oh, okay, you sound like a cat, but a cat dying. Like, okay. <laughs> totally not creepy at all. These things terrify me, though, so that's why I'm just kind of like, okay, stand back here and just shoot. Like, aim to kill, but they don't want to die. Uh, and we'll just come down here and get our skeleton loot. Oh, no way! There's a fortress right there! Oh my gosh! I like, I never get a fortress in the nether spawn. Like, that's so awesome. This is like the first time I've like. Oops, ah, please don't kill me, no! But this is like the first time I've gotten a fortress, like, just right off the bat. 
in my one world, I had to like travel so many blocks just to find one. Oh, that's so cool. So we just kind of like, I don't know if we'll go in there today, but whenever I feel like going in there, we can go in there and get like blaze rods and, um, what is it called? Nether warts. I'm like struggling today. I'm like, what is it called? <laughs> Why are these things like just they move around so much so you can't like get a clear shot at them? And they sound even worse when you shoot and kill them. It's like, why? Why? I gave up. I was like, okay, let's just shoot something else. My boat was just like slowly dying. It's like fun to shoot skeletons when they're not right there trying to kill you. It's nice because then it's like, oh, haha, ha, I have advantage. Oh, I finally got that sucker. Let's see if I can hit that from here. <laughs> oh no, it despawned before I could even like hit it. Okay then. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a um a less dangerous way in where it doesn't involve me falling and dying. Because this way is just kind of like too high up. I prefer not to die. At least that's the goal. The goal in the nether is to just not die. Of course, every time I turn around, there's like a skeleton or something. Or a stupid ghost or whatever you want to call it. Stupid piece of floating crap. Scary dying cat ghost. At least I'll be getting a lot of bones out of this. That's the only perks. I was gonna say plus side perk at the same time. The plurks. But that's like the only perk of the nether. Not the nether. Of this part of the nether, I should say. Get skeleton bones. Ooh, haha, I got him. Oh, of course he's like hiding like right behind there. It's like, okay, I'll get you eventually. And yeah, I could have sworn I like saw um, a blaze rod fall. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. We can use those later on for potions. Especially if we're going to defeat the nether, not the nether dragon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I'm too tired to be recording, obviously. The end dragon is the nether dragon, unless you have some kind of mod on. But the end dragon will need potions later on to defeat the end dragon. Yeah, I don't think I should be doing a voiceover, like, really tired. Which is funny, because I got enough sleep, but yeah, here I am, like, oh, nether dragon. To be fair, we are in the nether right now, and I was talking about the nether. Yeah, I'm like honestly not too sure how to get down from here. I might just have to like, take a chance. Yep, we're taking a chance. And we're gonna take another chance because I actually don't want to be up here. And now we're gonna have to hide and eat because <laughs> I need to heal before we can like get attacked by anything. Gotta grab that blaze rod. Gotta grab the glorious blaze rod. Like, honestly, the blazes kind of, like, terrify me because they could just, like, shoot fire at you at any given time. And it's like, um, yeah, I kind of don't want that. I really don't want to be set on fire right now. And so, like, there's one up there just blazing away. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used that choice of words, but, you know, he's on fire. I think there's more bra blaze rods up there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hide in here. Get some netherrack. And, uh, I guess one shot at me. 
Okay then. Yep, there he is. There's that sucker. Oh, and then there's another one behind him. Okay, well, I'm gonna pillar up there in a second here, because I'm kind of scared. And, I'll pull it and hide. And then we'll pillar up and get the blaze rods. Okay, let's just pillar up right over here. jump right back down and hide. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna have to go back up there anyway. I'm not sure if I dropped more blaze rods or not. We'll get the loot from over there. I'm gonna just shoot at that skeleton. <laughs> it's so fun shooting at them because we're just from a distance. At least from a distance, they like don't see you, and it's like, haha, <laughs> sucker. Although I'm sure they feel the same way when they try shooting at me from a distance. Okay, let's just pillar on back up here and watch me struggle pillaring. Oh my gosh, that thing like scared the crap out of me. It's like, uh, hey, I'm not trying to kill you because you're not trying to kill me. Wither skeleton. There's a skeleton up there. And there's more blazes. Oh, there's the skeleton. And another wither one. Let's get the one up there. And look, oh my gosh, there's one right there. They like blend in. It's like so bad. It's like when I can't find my cat and she's under the dark table. It just blends right in. Please, don't set me on fire. No, oh, it's the other skeleton. Go away, I don't want you. I will take your bones, though. Which sounds so weird, but you know. Minecraft things. Nope, and then I've been shot. Okay, well, at least, like, finally got him. Okay, well, if I showed the rest of the nether, it would have been, like, 30 more minutes of footage. So we're done for that for now. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode, if you did. Even if you didn't, or only watched part of it. Um, in our next episode, probably just gonna, like, work on another build or something. I'm not too sure yet. Definitely not going back in another in the next episode. I'll do that off camera. At least off camera, I could turn the world to peaceful. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all have a good day and thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this build. I don't know. I'll make it look more pretty off camera. But yeah, bye everyone.